Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. In today's video we're going to be making a vinyl record, like a, a music record, of the Weird Sisters. And I made this based on the fact that they played at Hogwarts during the Goblet of Fire at the Yule Ball Dance. So this is basically like a live version, like a live recorded album for that concert. I've always wanted to do this project and things similar to it, like other like wizard bands and stuff like that, just make a record for them because I thought that would be really cool and maybe like posters and things like that too. Anyways, go ahead and check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're gonna need as well as the free downloadable templates and let's get started. So you are going to download and print the templates. I've printed these, there are two different files. So these are the labels that go on the actual record itself and this is printed on sticker paper. All of this is printed single-sided and then we also have the um, actual record in three different pieces which we're going to have to put together. Now on top of this you are going to need a an actual uh, record. You can go to like a thrift thrift store like I went to Goodwill and found a bunch of records there so yeah you can just go there and get them for like 25 cents a piece. Today we're going to be reskinning Weird Al's even worse. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and cut out all of the, the white space from around these. And I've found that the easiest way to do this is to stack them up and then put a paper clamp on both sides like this. And then just take a ruler and X-Acto knife. And from here we can cut all of them out at the same time. So if you're doing it this way, you just want to do these two and then the, the two, all, basically all four edges, but you don't want to do these corner parts. And then at this point, we want to take our paper clamps and switch which edge they are on. And now we can do the other smaller pieces like these corners and then uh, this part up here. And we're going to do this with just a pair of scissors. Now we have all of the pieces cut out so you should be able to just uh, lay them out and line them up and see that it makes uh, the entire album cover just like that. So let's slide these aside and then go ahead and cut these out. And there is a Cricut template for this, but I think most people don't have a Cricut, so I'm going to use what you would probably use at home if you don't have a Cricut. So we're just going to cut the circles out, the outside circles, the, the large circles, not the center circle, with scissors. Now when we get to the center circles on both of these, what we want to use is this, um, and this is a swivel detail blade. I don't use it very often, but it's really handy for little things like this. So we're just going to take it and you hold it like this and you just sort of draw the circle on there very lightly. You don't have to push down very hard because the blade is really strong, but you just sort of trace the circle do that on both of these. You can just sort of take the little uh, center part out that we just cut out and just peel it off and then we have the little circles in the center cut out. So now back to our album. Let's get the actual vinyl out of the uh, case and then what we're going to do is take our stickers and place them directly over what's already there. Essentially, we're just rebranding this as uh, the Weird Sisters. And if you didn't get your uh, circle in the center perfect, don't worry about that because you can take something like just a pen or a pencil or something and sort of put it in there and twist it a little bit and then you have pretty much a perfect little circle once you're done. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. It's not so important that you get the um, hole in the center perfect, but it is important that it's not like too big. You want it, you'd rather want it, want it to be too small than too big. And then we do the other side. So 
So now we have side A and side B on our Weird Sisters album. So the record itself looks pretty good, and this is what your record should look like. Now we will move on to the actual um, sleeve that the record goes into. So the first thing we need to do is take this thing apart. I wouldn't use an X-Acto knife for this because it's uh, a lot sharper than a pocket knife might be. And yeah, I, don't, I just don't wanna risk uh, cutting myself really badly. So you wanna just sort of slowly work at the edge here and we're going to get the pocket knife into the edge and just separate the uh, these two pieces right here without like ripping it. We don't want to rip the uh, the sleeve at all. So once you have the knife in there, there it's pretty easy to get get it apart. So we're going to want to do that on both sides. There's the top and the bottom here. Just be very careful not to cut yourself or to rip the sleeve. All right, so it should just open up and then it has these two parts that fold outward like this, or they're actually folded in, but we can, we want to fold these out. And there we go. This is our this is where we should be. So now we're, we're gonna set this aside and then we're going to piece together this before we actually reskin our, our record sleeve. So I found it best to, on the back part, to overlap the center, this is the center spine piece, so to overlap this on top of the back part because then you're not, you don't have a crease right where these the letters are and it's not so apparent if you don't like line it up exactly perfectly. Now what you can do is take a, a clamp. We want to hold down on this so that, oops, so that the paper doesn't move like it just did. So hold down so that the paper doesn't actually slide around at all. Take a clamp and clamp one end like this. That way you know this is in the right spot. And then Make sure it's lined up up here as well and that it's flat and straight. And then we're going to take another paper clamp and clamp right here. And then we can slide these clamps over a little bit. It is still clamping these together, but it's as far over as it can get so that we can turn the paper like this. Take a little piece of scrap paper here put it against the edge so that you don't get glue where you don't want it. And then we're going to glue this right along here. And then slide this up and glue the rest. Oops. And there we go. And you don't need to glue the inside just that outside part is fine because this part is going to be, you know, face down and, and glued to the, the actual sleeve. So you only need to do just one little line and make sure that that crease is lined up good enough so that it just sort of disappears. Now on the cover, it's really up to you where you want the uh, crease to be. Um, you could do it right here and it's through the D and that's how I kind of line it up is with the D and then this symbol down here. Or you could do it this way and line it up with the E and his wrist down here. It just really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to do it right here. And then we're going to clamp them together just like before. Slide the clamps over a little bit. Shield the bottom sheet of paper. Now we have this. We can take our clamps off. And we can line this up and put it onto the sleeve. So right here on the spine of the template, we're going to put glue. And then you can take the actual record sleeve and we're going to line it up, straighten it out. And now the spine is down and that's gonna help us get the rest of this on straight. 
And instead of glue for the rest of this, we're going to be using tape. I have double-sided tape and I have regular tape. So we're going to first just fold these two little spine parts that are overlapping the template in, and then we're just going to use regular ta tape to tape them down. And then we're going to use double-sided tape all along here, and you want to get it as close to the edge as possible. And then just line it up right there. And if you didn't get enough, you can just do another piece right there. And then this can just fold over like this. And you want to fold it over pretty tight. And then you can take regular tape to reinforce it if you'd like. You don't have to, but I will do this just to make sure that it all stays down. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side with the double-sided tape. And then fold it over. But this side with the flap, we're not actually going to tape down with the regular tape. Just attach the template to this part with the double-sided tape. And now we'll flip it around and do the same thing on this side and get it as tight as possible. And then the very last parts we want to do is this side and this side. Again, with the double-sided tape. So the last thing that we actually have to do is attach um, this flat end to the end that has the flap. And the flap goes down, and then these two, where the printed parts are, stick together like that. And again, we'll use double-sided tape for this. So what I'm going to do is put the double-sided tape on the side that does not have the flap. There we go. And then make sure that these flaps are folded in all the way. And then just carefully fold it closed while taping it shut along those flaps. And there we go. There is our sleeve for our Weird Sisters record. And we can take the actual record, put it in there right in the sleeve, and it's Pretty, it looks like a pretty authentic Weird Sisters record. And there are other ways you could assemble this. I did it the easiest way that I could. If you're worried about the prints not being flat enough on the actual sleeve that we reskinned, you could glue that down if you want. Um, it's probably not gonna be a big deal if you're not handling it much, which I'm not gonna be handling this much. This is, this is gonna be for like photos and for, you know, like just decoration, so we aren't really gonna be handling this much, and I'm never actually gonna to listen to this because it's not actually the Weird Sisters, so I don't have to worry about that. If you're interested in winning the Weird Sisters record that I made in this video today, there is a giveaway link in the description box below. Down there, you're also going to find a giveaway for my 70K giveaway, where I'm going to be giving away the Accio Box book covers that I made um, these were exclusive to Accio, no other way to get them. And I'm also, along with that, giving away the set of American hardback Harry Potter books that these covers fit on. Let me know what your favorite uh, wizarding band is. Because I know there's more than just the Weird Sisters. Or even better yet, do you have you ever listened to wizard rock? Like actual bands that are like just singing about Harry Potter? Let me know what your favorite bands are in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.